All right, let's get ready for the national anthem, guys. Let's go. God bless the USA. Oh. One of the longest running traditions in the NFL is the singing of our national anthem. You're going to do the singing today? Wonderful. Okay, glad to have you. The performers and their renditions vary widely. At the twilight's last gleaming. I've been at times very impressed. There's also been times when I was shocked. That's, that's what I sound like in my shower. But people with glass vocal cords shouldn't throw stones. But our flag was still A less well-known NFL tradition is the post-anthem congratulations. Very nice job. Thank you very much. Hey, nice job. Very nicely done. Thank you, sir. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. I enjoyed it. I make a point to see and speak to the person that sings the national anthem. Nicely done. Nice job. Nicely done. I've done it before. Uh, there's been some people that I've known. Uh, one of the Mara girls sang it at uh, Giant Stadium, so I did talk to her before she sang it. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure to see you. Appreciate you doing this. I'm a big fan. You know that. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Different places I've been, we keep track on the person that sings it and then whether we win or we lose. Not that I'm superstitious or anything. Probably wouldn't go out of my way uh, to say anything now. The coin flip kid, that's my guy or growl. That's my person right there. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler? Nice to meet you. They get a ball cap, they get a handshake, they get a picture. So that's pretty cool. Rick, we have a hat out here you can give to that little girl. Lately, you can't swing a pregame mic without hitting a former American Idol contestant. Oh, Constantine! Kelly Clarkson? Oh, yeah, I watch American Idol. Yeah, yeah. The last three Super Bowl anthems were sung by alumni from the show. And that kind of star power always gets noticed. I don't go across the field or anything like that, but, you know, if it's Carrie Underwood or somebody like that, absolutely. But, uh, no, Oklahoma girl. This is your moment. I will give you $1,000 if you go propose to Carrie Underwood right now. $1,000. She wouldn't get within 30 feet of her. Actually, if your goal is to congratulate America's biggest idol on America's biggest stage, you don't need eHarmony or Match.com. Just coach your way into the game, then walk to midfield. It was just an amazing experience. I was so nervous. I was excited. It was just really an awesome day. Carrie was singing. When she finished, I noticed she was kind of exiting down the stage. Sean was coming across the field, and I was trying to get off the field because everybody was running on the field. And then when she was finished singing, I thought, I'm just going to go tell her good job. Really? I feel like he was just headed to the sideline, and I was, our paths just crossed. You know, I walked about 25 strides to midfield, and I caught her eye, and she looked. Curry! Good job. It wasn't thought out at all. I hadn't even given it any thought. It just happened. I don't know. We had a magical fist bump. It was magic. Sparks flew. 